Warning! The following video is intended for viewers 13 years and older. Viewer discretion is advised. You're here. You're ready. Welcome to my world. Welcome back guys, it's I'm Ghost of Sparta, and I'm here with another fantastic retro review for you guys of the Destructo case, The Joker, The Dark Knight. This figure came out in 2007, and we're going to kind of see a little bit of an upgrade from all the other figures I was showing before were like mid 80s, late 90s, now we're in the 2000s. So this is episode 5 of my retro reviews, hope you guys enjoy it. I've linked below my other retro reviews so you could see those as well. I also put cards throughout the video so you could check out each episode of those too if you're interested in checking out the retro reviews that I do. So let's crack this guy out of his clamshell and do some size comparisons and see what this figure is all about. Also guys, remember please, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell icon and also leave a comment comment on my channel i want to hear from you guys please those help the four pillars of the algorithm and it helps spread the ghost of sparta army around everywhere so let's do that also guys check out my social medias those are also linked below so enough of my talking let's get to this figure destructo case joker with sh figure arts goku joker with marvel legends deadpool joker with NECA predator Alrighty, so we got the size comparisons out of the way. Let's take a look at this figure, which is pretty odd. I mean, I know these are like $10 figures or $15 figures back in the day. And I don't know, I gotta say that, you know, for quality wise, what they're thinking about figures, I don't know, I feel that they could do a lot better. Like, I mean, I'm not saying give us an exact, you know, Heath Ledger, you know, head sculpt, but I feel they could do a little bit better than this. I mean, some of the paint is off. I mean, they just outlined the lips. They didn't give it, you know, the good job of paint. We got a little bit of a bald spot here. I don't recall him having a nice little, you know, bald spot in the back. You know, some of the paint is chipped. But then again, this figure has been sitting in its box since 2007, and I set him free. So we can see the back. He has this nasty green coat. I mean, also, it's another thing about these figures. They always make figures for movies, and then they give you stuff that didn't even happen in the movie. Like, I get it. You know, imagination, kids, blah, blah. But just give us some accurate shit. That's all I'm saying some accurate stuff like he never wore a green coat it was purple so i don't know that that's just my just is my take on it he has a nice little painted chain right there you can see like they, they sculpted it in that's actually literally sculpted they, someone took a little bit of plastic and sculpted that in and then they painted it he has an, does he have a waist swivel does he have anything why is that why is there a a gap there's a gap right here and it doesn't swivel whatsoever it's just for this loincloth piece. Literally, that's what they put that gap in there for. So that way you can have the, the tails of his suit. So we looked at the sculpt. Let's see those shoes. Shoes are pretty nice. We looked at those sculpt. We looked at the sculpt. And now let's get to everybody's favorite part of the show. It's articulation time. Swivel, arm rotation, bend at the elbow. Leg kicks back, forward, leg kicks back, bend at the knee, and that's it. So, we got the articulation out of the way. Not bad. Five points. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five points of articulation. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five, five. So, ten altogether. Actually, nine. I think it's nine altogether. Yeah, something. I don't know. You guys correct me in the comments. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's so funny. Like, you know, when I was a kid and I would play with toys like this, like this was innovative. This was crazy innovative for me. So he does come with an actual an accessory. Let's take a look. He comes with this briefcase. It's called, you know, pretty much pick the prank. And what's interesting about this little briefcase is that it hides all his little things in there. You can close it up. Has some trademarking. Nice little cachet case. He can hold it. It's meant for him to hold. Bam. I think this case is way too big for him, to be honest. You know, it's going to tip over the figure. Let me see if I bend his elbow a little bit. Yeah, he's, it's too heavy. It's not going to be able to hold at all. So we got that. Let's open it up. Okay, so you can open it up and you get these little pranks here. Now, what are these exactly? So you can actually detach them from there. And I'm guessing this is supposed to be like some kind of knife. Like, I don't understand. How are we supposed to go bang? 
I've never known anybody hold a gun that way. So he has this gun. He has what looks to be an umbrella on a knife. And he also looks to be, he has a Joker card. So he can hold a Joker card. That's some good detail too. I like it. It actually has, it's an actual picture. And then he has this thingy, whatever this is, I guess a sunflower, something with poison. You know, Joker's all about the poison. So he has this bad boy here. Nice little smiley face. Take a look at the umbrella. I'm assuming this is an umbrella. I'm assuming. You guys let me know. So he comes with these variety of little holding knives, I guess. They're supposed to be knives. Uh, there's no way around it. They were trying to get away with the fact that it's a knife. That's all I can say. What did you guys think about this figure? I mean, usually my retro reviews are real small. I mean, this is a pretty weird figure. It didn't really give a lot. I feel like they were trying to go for, you know, the movie, the Joker was really dangerous. So I'm thinking they were trying to make this very kid friendly. And sometimes I think when you try to go kid friendly, I think you mess it up. Leave certain things for kids and leave certain things for adults and collectors. That, that's what I'm saying. If you guys agree with me, let me know in the comments. I, I really would like to know what you think about it. So with all that being said, what did you guys think about this review? Did you ever pick this guy up or were you ever hunting for this guy? Let me know in the comments. And I really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. Keep subscribing. I'm trying to get to 500 at some point this year. And uh, I just want to grow, man. I want this channel to grow. I do also a lot of stuff on my Instagram, so you guys could check that out. I also have my Facebook page. I'm Ghost of Sparta. Check that out. All the links are below, so that way you could see what I do about, you know, with my figures, how I display them. Maybe I'll, you know, I was thinking about posting up a video of me cleaning out my collection, fixing up my cabinet again. And changing out the display if you guys would like to see a video like that let me know hit the like button let's get this video to like i don't know 300 likes i shouldn't that shouldn't be too hard there's 300 subscribers 300 plus subscribers so let's get the video 300 likes and i'll do a video of me completely revamping my collector my collection my case my uh display of action figures i'll revamp it and i'll take you guys on the full journey of doing that so you know for me taking it all down cleaning the figures to buying things that i need some more lights putting it all together and then showing you guys the final product i'll take you guys down that journey so if that's what you guys want to see well guys thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you guys on the next video